Hey, what's up? Schnell, welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Australia's Cemetery Urn, self titled, and under $10 from Hell's Headbangers. Fuck yeah. I love, love, love this fucking record. Just absolutely killer death metal from Australia. Get into this if, like, you've never heard this before. Their new album's just as good as well, but the self-titled is just fucking pure hellfire. I, I love this fucking album. And $8.88 on Hell's Headbangers. I highly, highly recommend if you're a fan of death metal, go grab this before it's gone and you end up paying full price, even though it's worth paying full price for. This is so fucking good. I do think the cassette version comes with a patch, though, but that's beyond the point. I need to thank, first off, um, Expansion Abyss Records for sending this over a little bit early. I'm absolutely obsessed with this right now. And this is a band that when I first started this channel, I was really, really into. And I reviewed their EP, Long Pig Feast. And I'm talking about Dippy Gus. I also happened to review their demo. So, it only felt right when I got this in the mail to get it in my head and kind of play it back to back to back to back. Each time with a fucking smile on my face, we have the debut full length from Dippy Gus, Death Ooze. This is available on CD and cassette through Caligari and on vinyl through Expansion Abyss. Holy fuck. Seven tracks at around 34 minutes of just disgusting, heavy, awesome death metal. Hailing from California, this just fucking rules. And coming off of a sickening demo, an even sicker EP, I had very, very high expectations for Death Ooze, and Dippy Gus just knocked those fucking expectations so far out of the park, as this is so good. I cannot recommend this enough to all you maniacs out there. If you're a fan of death metal, holy fucking shit, you need to get this in your life. Absolutely disgusting. It's heavy as fuck. I love every single thing about this record. From the art, from the layout, everything. And we have Dan on bass, Sam on drums, Dustin on guitar, and Carissa on vocals. Cover painting by Douglas Camp, who did an amazing job, as this does tie into the record. And some of the sample usage on here as well, as some of the samples on here are... Some are fun and funny, and others are like super gnarly and like, at the same time, I think it's awesome, but some of you might be like, you're a fucking sicko. <laughs> but like, there's a track called Deloy's Ape, and that's a song about that incident where that lady's pet chimpanzee ripped that whole entire woman's fucking face off and shit. This has the 911 call as a sample on it. It's fucking awesome and disgusting, but like you have to hear the 911 like operator's voice. It's absolutely just ridiculous and uh, holy fuck. 
it's so good and at the same time so morbid i love it death ooze by dippy guts is just absolutely fucking so good like, there's no Hellraiser samples on here. Like, there's no fucking Beyond Creation samples on here. And, like, uh, go back in time and just look and see how many bands used Hellraiser samples back in the day. Even to this day, if you can name me every single Hellraiser sample ever used... Maybe you'll win a prize, but I have no idea how to even figure that out. But one thing that Dippy Gus do are have some of the most interesting and original samples ever used on a death metal record. Especially in 2019. Like, I was so surprised with some of the, like, the samples on here. Because, like... They just caught me off guard and added this kind of, like, just fun sensibility to an already fun fucking slab of disgusting death metal. And I love the riffs on here. The riffs are my favorite part right next to the vocals. The vocals are just wow. Fucking, I just, I, I love them so much they just hit exactly what they need to hit it's just so fitting especially on a track like corpse flower just ultra fucking sick I, I love it like carissa is a sick vocalist and this proves it right here and also such a sick display here from expansion abyss when it comes to the cosmetics Fucking, oh, got some death ooze on my copy of death ooze. But fuck yeah, and all three formats are available. Cassette and CD on Caligari. And the vinyl is available through Expansion Abyss. So fucking good, like that label is sick. If something's like sold out, go there because chances are it's going to be available. It's pretty cool how they run things over there. And I think this is their first real release outside of kind of being more of a distro. But if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I have to thank fucking Expansion Abyss so much for sending this over. Like, I, I kind of thought somebody was just, like, fucking around and maybe had seen these videos where, you know, I went over the EP a long time ago. It might have been my second Transylvanian Tapes bundle. I'm not sure. But then the band sent me the original demo. So, I'm not 100% sure, but in the message I got, it was from Expansion Abyss, and it just said, hey, is it cool if I send the record your way? And I honestly, at the time, had no idea that Dippy Gus had a new full length out. And then I saw that Caligari was doing the cassette and the CD, and I was like, holy shit, I need to listen to this as much as possible whenever it comes in the mail. And it got here super fucking fast and instantly was on my turntable and just wow from Greg Wilkinson recording this at Earhammer Studios to it being mastered by Dan Randall at Mammoth Sound fuck yeah this sounds so goddamn good in every way possible like I, I fucking love it Everything about Dippy Gus is, like, everything about death metal that I feel should, like, it should be. And that's my own opinion about Dippy Gus and death metal in general. Like, I kind of like how they still have this, like, punk and grind feel to things as well. Like, 
to me, this is like a straight up death metal release, but like, there's some punk elements on here. There's some grind elements on here, but at the end of the day, this is death metal in its filthiest fucking putrid form and definitely one of the best death metals out right now. It Well, technically not out until maybe next week or maybe Friday. So I highly suggest getting your pre-order of this fucker taken care of and just, you know, because I know the Superstition pre-orders are coming up. This is something that's going to be right up there next to Superstition, Fetid, Leather Glove, Piss Grave, fucking Blood Incantation, even though that's a different beast. And same thing with Tomb Mold. But, like, Dippy Gusts are just fucking sick. If you like disgusting death metal that thinks a little bit outside of the box. I mean, they could have chose any kaiju in the book to make a song about, but they chose one from one of the old Gamera films, and I think that's fucking great. And it's as soon as I heard the sound, I was like, that's not a Godzilla kaiju. And I just instantly like I looked the track title up and I was like holy fuck I remember that from Mystery Science Theater 3000 and I actually still have the VHS tape and that is Angelus I think that's how you pronounce the month the kaiju's name it's Angelus I think the killer of the living and that's what this record is it's just nasty fucking California death metal. And it feels like a chimpanzee ripped your face off as soon as you fucking make your way to the B-side, which starts off with that 911 call, which is just fucking wow. It, it's so morbid, but at the same time, it's fascinating and... If you've seen that, it might have been Oprah, where they had the woman on whose face was actually completely disfigured by this ape. It, it's gnarly, and knowing where that came from, and that it's real, is a little bit unsettling, but at the same time, it's fucking awesome. And I'm not a big Beatles fan, but this reminded me of that one Beatles album, that macabre kind of, you know, jocked for Sinister Slaughter. I, I don't know why it's like running a blank on my name, but if you know what Beatles album I'm talking about, where they have the title down at the bottom in like grass, but Macabre have the band mixed in with a bunch of serial killers on Sinister Slaughter, but I just, that's what the artwork reminds me of, but with these fucking oozy, oozy skeletal beings and these carnivorous human Venus flytraps, just sick shit on Death Ooze by California's Dippy Gus. Grade A fucking death metal from the depths of California get into this on Expansion Abyss Records as well as Caligari Records. So fucking good. Dippy Gus, Death Ooze. This is a fucking grade A slab of death metal. Get into it. As well as Australia's Cemetery Urn. This is their self-titled on Hell's Headbangers. Fuck yes. Killer death metal. And $8.88. Go get that shit. But we were... Well, oh, I already said that. Sorry. But yes. Dippy Gus Death Ooze. Get the fuck into it. You will love it. Trust me. Links will be below in the video description. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Peace. <laughs>